We're here at the 2011 SAE International Hybrid and Electric Vehicle Conference in Anaheim, California with Chuck Forner, and Chuck is with Scuderi Engines. Uh, Scuderi's been developing a very unique combustion system uh, and power solution for the emissions challenges and the, the engine challenges of the future. Uh, and uh, Chuck is Director of Technology Development for Scuderi Engines. Welcome, Chuck. It's a pleasure. Same here. Yeah. Uh, could, could, could you tell us uh, really what the status of the Scuderi Split Cycle Engine uh, development is? We've been following that pretty closely in the magazine over the last few okay. years. Absolutely. Uh, I think the, it's understood about the uniqueness of the combustion process. And like a, what I like to talk about is the hybrid uh, feature and what type of work we've been doing in testing at the Southwest Research. Um, Southwest Research Institute is, in Texas in has Texas. been doing your, your dyno development, your testing. Absolutely. Yes. What has happened, it was determined that the best way uh, to look at uh, the combustion process and the hybrid was to develop a software program. The software program is used to simulate right now uh, a in process vehicle. This is what we're using is a 2005 Civic Cavalier. And a comparison one to one, when we ran the simulation results, we got a 36% reduction in fuel consumption uh, over the drive cycle, the United States drive cycle that was used. US06? US06. Uh, so that 36% decrease in fuel consumption correlates to, if you're getting 25 miles a gallon, that 36% means that we're going to see somewhere in an increase of about 35 miles per gallon, 36 miles per gallon. So we're getting close to meeting the standards and the regulations that are set by the federal government for 2016. Uh, in a typical C-Class uh, vehicle. In a typical C-Class vehicle. Yes. Now, our hopes in the future is we're going to take a next step. And we're, we've got a the 2011 uh, Nissan Sentra, that we're going to do the same thing. We bought that vehicle, and now we're going to do a, an actual dyno run simulation, and then we'll start to compare that with the, uh, the actual Scuderi engine simulated in that vehicle as well. So we have correlating data. Okay. Um, it's, things are only going to get better, because the simulation program isn't finished yet. It's only, it's only a part uh, part model uh, simulation program. Our hopes are that we're going to gain an efficiency based on boost pressures in the air tank because we're only looking at uh, lower boost right now uh, for the simulation program. Uh, this is in the air hybrid uh, this combustion is in, system. This is in the air hybrid combustion yes. system. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of work to be done. Currently we have under test uh, a 2011 Nissan Sentra uh, that will almost be similar to that uh, simulations of the Cavalier that we just uh, uh, tested. And we're looking forward to those test results. Uh, so it sounds like you've got uh, both real world testing and further simulation coming. Right. Further simulation coming and we're, we don't know where the end result of this is going to be, but again, I'll reiter reiterate, it's things are only going to get better with this engine, and we're looking forward to the future changes. Sounds good. Well, we'll keep uh, keep abreast of what's going on with Scuderi. Chuck, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So we just heard from Scuderi Engines' uh, Chuck Forner about the technology development of the Scuderi Air Hybrid Engine. Now we're here with Nick Scuderi. Uh, Nick is head of uh, marketing uh, for Scuderi Engines, and uh, he's got an announcement. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Lindsay. Thanks for having us. Uh, we're real excited about uh, an announcement that we're going to make at the 2011 SAE World Congress uh, it's in, in regards to the Scuderi Engine. Uh, we're looking at efficiency levels that we thought were never going to be able to be achieved, uh, but we're very excited about this announcement, and power levels that we thought were never going to be able to be achieved. Uh, and it's all coming out of the simulations right now uh, down at Southwest Research Labs. Very good. We look forward to that, Nick, and uh, certainly seeing you guys at Congress and look forward to the data you'll be presenting. Yeah, it'll be a great, uh, enjoyable time, and uh, we're going to enjoy announcing it to the world. Thanks so much for your time. All right, good great. To see Thanks, you again. Thanks, Thank you. Lindsay.